What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, I'm gonna give you information about stimulus checks. There's a lot of news that's out there, a lot of changes that are happening to different things, different proposals, all that stuff. There's a lot to talk about. But I'm gonna go through three articles here just so you get a sense on what's actually happening with the stimulus checks. But before I start, make sure you hit the like button on this video, also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And I do a giveaway every single week, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to hear all about that giveaway. So the things that I'm gonna go over in this video is how many checks they have sent out since we started sending out the checks, what was it, April 15th that we started sending out the checks till now. I'm also gonna talk about the fact that people are stealing stimulus checks out of mailboxes. And there's multiple stories of this. It's not just one story. I'm gonna go over one instance, but there are multiple instances out there. There are multiple people that are stealing checks out of mailboxes, so you need to be aware of that. Um, also, the IRS may be sending these stimulus checks to places where you wouldn't have thought they would have went. And the IRS probably should have thought about this actually happening or taking place um, just because it does make sense why it is happening. So we'll get into all of that right now. We're going to start with the amount of stimulus checks that went out. So um, the IRS says it issued 120 million economic impact payments this month. Um, this is amazing to be able to have that much money that's issued to people but there's still a huge problem here. And most of you might know that in the comments, most of you might know what the problem actually is. So approximately 120 million stimulus checks were issued to Americans over the past 30 days. Technically it wasn't 30 days. It's only been, what, about 15, 16 days? Because, you know, on the 15th, that's when people really started receiving their money. Technically, some people said they seen it pending earlier that week, but let's go with the 15th. So the 15th to the 30th or 15th to the 1st is about 15 to 16 days. The Treasury said it's expected to pay out about 170 million payments total. Tens of millions of Americans are still waiting on their economic stimulus payments, and I get it all the time in my comments. I still don't have my payment. You know, um, I still don't have a status on when it's supposed to be deposited or when I'm supposed to receive my check or if I'm getting a check or direct deposit. I don't know. There's a lot of people in the comments, and um, it's really frustrating because I can't truly answer it. Um, I want to answer all of their questions, and if they have a specific date that's out there, I'll give them the specific date, like SSI, it'll be around May 5th, veterans around May 5th as well, so like I will give you a specific date, but I always like to give you a roundabout date because I don't like to deal with absolutes. I know the IRS is not someone that deals with absolutes. Maybe one person might get it on that date, or you know, 10 people might get it on that date, but not everybody will get it on that date. So the first wave of checks, uh, physical checks, went out on the 20th, just to give you a date on that, and we do have a full chart of that, only sending out five million per week. They're only capable of printing and sending out five million per week. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because yes, 120 million Americans received those checks, but you still have, let's say, 50 million Americans that have not received checks, and those are the people that need it the most. I don't understand why they're hyping this up so much, saying that they sent out 120 million checks when the people that are struggling the most, that actually spend the most, are not getting the money to be able to pay their bills. People that are on Social Security, people that are low income, they're not receiving their money, but people that are middle class to you know pretty much the, the cap are receiving their their uh, money, that makes no sense at all for me. And I've said this in plenty other videos, no need to go on a huge rant about it. So I did wanna talk about this. So they're sending out the physical checks now. This is where we're at right now. We're at the point of social security, um, veterans, you know, um, physical checks as well. And obviously low income is in there, but they should have already been receiving their checks. It makes sense that low income would get it first. And I keep going back to that. But let's figure out where these checks actually are. What's happening with these checks? I understand that they're sending these checks out and a lot of people are receiving them in the mail, but we do have a problem. So let's get into the next article where the New York City man stole over $12,000 in stimulus checks. That is crazy. First of all, these people need it, and to know that you know whatever that person received wasn't enough made them go out and steal it, or they just like stealing things. So a New York City man was arrested on Tuesday for allegedly stealing nine coronavirus stimulus checks worth more than $12,000 from mailboxes. He was spotted by police early Tuesday morning looking inside mailboxes in the Sunset Park neighborhood of Brooklyn. 
After leaving a building with what appeared to be mail, the man actually saw the police officer and he tossed the mail on the sidewalk. So obviously, you know, tossing mail, and if you drop something, you're gonna go back and say, oh, you know what, I dropped something. But I'm pretty sure if a police officer sees you drop something and you just leave it there, or you throw it and you just leave it there, he's probably gonna, you know, come over and say something about it, whether he's gonna give you that mail back or he's gonna basically say, hey, what are you doing out here? Question you. When the police apprehended the suspect, he had more than $12,000, credit cards, open envelopes, and letters bearing the names of various individuals and mail addresses. So this is crazy to think that, you know, people are just taking stimulus checks. And I don't want to shine light on the fact that you can steal stimulus checks. You can't, you shouldn't. There are so many people that are struggling. This should not even be a thought. I don't care who you are. It shouldn't even be a thought. There should be no scammers that are active right now. There should be nobody that's trying to steal these checks. There should be nobody that's doing all of this stuff. But that's where the checks actually are. That's why... Um, I believe the IRS did not want to send out physical checks because anybody can steal your mail and they could steal your mail on a normal day and steal your credit cards and all that other stuff if they, if they wanted to. But to know that people are getting stimulus checks, that's what they're going to do. They're going to try and steal your mail. So I want to, I want to kind of let you know that this is happening. If you are going to be getting a physical stimulus check, make sure you know that this is happening and check your mail when the mail comes. Don't risk anything because this could be really bad for your situation. But I did want to go into another article here to where the IRS is mistakenly sending stimulus checks to foreign workers. So they're sending these checks to people that may come over here and visit. Um, they work over here for a little bit, but then they live overseas. They're sending it to them. So the article states thousands of foreign workers, many living overseas, are receiving stimulus checks designated for U.S. residents due to an unforeseen glitch that funneled taxpayer dollars to other countries. College-age workers who spent time in the U.S. in the last two years, some of whom returned home long before the coronavirus pandemic, have been surprised to find $1,200 checks deposited into their bank accounts. Now, this error stems from a common tax filing blunder, particularly for those on F-1 student and J-1 exchange visas. These workers studying at universities and working summer jobs often turn to TurboTax and other e-filing systems without knowing that the systems are designed only for U.S. residents. So this is a, a huge glitch, right? Um, I don't want to get too far into this article because it's a lot to go through, um, but this is a huge glitch that could happen. So you're sending out a number of stimulus checks to people who really shouldn't receive the stimulus checks, people that live overseas that don't really live here. And I understand that they're still in a situation, you know, overseas, it's everywhere, it's worldwide, but um, for the U.S. to basically fund that is not something that should happen. It should be you know, their home country that funds whatever program they have. That could be money that's going to low-income communities. That could be uh, money that goes to people on Social Security. Or in, in our government's case, they just want to fund the middle class and upper class. That's fine. It's not. It's not fine at all. So just to give you some context on how much that could be, um, there were 1.1 million foreign students in the United States last year. The government also granted nearly 400,000 J-1 temporary visas. So this can give you an understanding of how much that actually could be and how much is kind of missing here. Um, that's what I'm looking at. It's missing. So I understand you know where it's going, but it's technically missing because it should have went to somebody else, but it didn't. But that's my update here. Just make sure you're aware that people can you know, steal your stimulus checks, your physical stimulus checks, and just to know that money is being sent in other places is definitely something that you need to know. But um, I did see a video by Meet Kevin recently where he went over the Republican side of the stimulus checks and he talked about a proposal that's on that side and I wanted to dig into that. So I couldn't find an article on it. I wanted to include it in this video since I did see it, but it kind of would go on for too long anyways. I know you don't want a super long video, so I plan on making that in my next video if I can find the article. Anyways, that's my stimulus update for today. Just watch out for a lot of people that are doing horrible things out there. It's just really bad. But that's my video, guys. 
hit that like button. That helps me out a lot. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And I do a giveaway every single week. I give away three Amazon gift cards at the end of the week. And all you have to do in order to enter that giveaway is comment on this video, like this video, and be subscribed to both of my YouTube channels. This one and the Perry Experience channel. I believe we're almost at a thousand subscribers over there. So definitely hit that subscribe button over there. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.